In this video, we will learn about grouping plants based on size, structure, lifespan, and habitat. Now, based on size and structure, the plant kingdom has been divided into herbs, shrubs, trees, creepers, and climbers. Now, herbs are the small plants with soft and green stem. They are less than a meter high. And uh, mustard, wheat, paddy, maize, coriander, grass, tomato, and season flowers plants like balsam, sweet pea, dahlia, and pansy are some examples. They have a lifespan of um, few months to one year. So this is grass, and this is basically herb. Now shrubs are medium-sized woody plants. They are about one to three meters high and hard and woody stem. They survive for several years. Now, rose, lemon, henna, etc. are some examples. So, this is basically China rose and this is shrub. Now, if we come to trees, so they are tall and large plants with hard and woody stem. They are more than three meters high. They have one main stem called trunk and they have other branches now trees survive for more than 10 years a neem people mango guava jamun coconut palm gulmohar are some common examples now see this is a gulmohar and uh, we can say that this is a tree now climbers have weak thin and long stem they climb by taking support of neighboring plant this is most important or rope or wall now, bean, pea, money, plant, etc. are some climbers. So, this is a climber. And uh, finally, we have creepers. So, they have very weak stem. They grow horizontally and creep along the ground. Because of weak stem, they cannot stand upright. Now, pumpkin, watermelon, strawberry, muskmelon, etc. are some examples. Now, we can see that this is basically watermelon. And uh, this is a creeper now we will go to the grouping based on the lifespan plants are grouped into annual biennial and perennial plants the annual plants survive for only one year or one season herbs are generally the annual plants examples are mustard wheat gram maize paddy green gram or moon tomato brinjal balsam sweet pea petunia etc now, biennial plants complete their life cycle in two years. During the first year, they develop only vegetative parts such as root, stem, leaves, and flowers and fruits develop only in the second year. Examples are radish, turnip, dahlia, etc. Now, perennial plants survive for more than two years. The shrubs and trees are perennial plants. Mango, guava, tea, people, then jamun, bubble, jasmine, lemon, henna, etc. are some perennial plants. Now, grouping based on their habitat. Now, aquatic habitat plants growing in water are called aquatic plants or hydrophytes. We know that aqua or hydro, these come from the word water. So, these are synonymous and that means the plants growing in water are hydrophytes or aquatic plants. So, lotus plant grows in uh, fresh water. And uh, the plants found in salt water of sea or oceans are marine plants or halophytes. Now, terrestrial habitat. Now, plants growing on land are called terrestrial plants. Now, we can see that land may have two parts. That is forest and another is grassland. Now, the forest habitat is occupied by tall trees, in short bushes, herbs, climbers and creepers. And grassland habitat is occupied mainly by grass. Now, desert habitat, we know that in desert habitat has only climate where rainfall is scarce. So, cacti, succulent plants or dead palm are desert plants. Now, finally, mountain habitat. So, mountain habitat is rocky and has low temperature with the snowfall during winter. So, pine, maple, cedar, deodor, etc. are trees growing on hills or mountain areas. I hope this topic is clear to you. Thank you.